My name's Jonathan Murray. I'm a comedian from Liverpool. And 11 years ago in Kirby, I had a paranormal experience. Ah, okay. So when I was 15, I went to my friend's house after school to play some Xbox and just have a laugh. And about nine o'clock at night, it was dark, it was about October, November time. I was walking home from his house and he lived on the opposite side of Kirby to me. And in the centre of Kirby is a really old church and with a graveyard attached to it. And people reckon it's been there since Viking times, it's really ancient. And if you cut through that cemetery, you knock about 20 minutes off your journey. So as I got to the cemetery, I called my mates, not because I was scared of ghosts, but I was scared of people there looking for trouble, might get mugged or something because it was dark. And as I'm walking through the cemetery, I'm on the phone to my friends and he says that he can hear something in the background, like a crackle. So I thought it could have been my signal. And when I looked at my phone, it dropped from 80% battery to 50%. And I started to feel really sick, like dread. You know, I felt really strange. And my friend, he's on the phone the entire time and he's asking me like, what, what's going on? And something told me to look behind me. So I did. And in the dark, I could see something that resembles like a man stood on top of a gravestone. But it was like a shadow. And I just started running because it could have been anyone. And like I said, I thought it could have been trouble. Um, but as I'm running, my legs felt like jelly, like I was dreaming, and like something was pulling me back. And every time I turned around, it was still there, but it looked like it was getting closer, gliding towards me, and it was just black. And I managed to get out of the cemetery, and when I got to the main road, all the noise of cars come back, and there was a big rush, like I was going to have a panic attack or something, but it was relief. And I kept telling myself, it was just... Someone looked for trouble, could have been alcoholic, just in the graveyard having a drink. But then a couple of weeks after, I read one of those Haunts of Liverpool books. And there was a story in that church from the 1980s in which two policemen seen the exact same thing I seen in the exact same circumstances. So I did believe it was just a man, but now I'm fairly confident it was a paranormal experience.